today's video. Come on, focus. Focus on the queen. Can't keep my hands to myself. I mean, I could, but why would I want to? Today's video is going to be a recreation of Selena Gomez's, Gomez's? Selena Gomez's makeup and hair from the music video, Hands to Myself. If you guys haven't seen it, seriously, you guys need to check it out because she's smoking hot in that video. She slayed so hard, like I can't even. Before I get started, I need to put a disclaimer out there. I am not saying I look like Selena Gomez. I am not saying I even look like an ounce of what she looks like because let's be honest, if I looked anything like her, I would be modeling, I would be slaying the world, and I'm not doing that, so let's get it out there. Make sure to stick around to the end of the video because I'm gonna be announcing the giveaway winner and I'm also going to be doing another giveaway. So with that being said, let's get on to the video. I'm gonna start off by using my Sonia Kinship Concealer Palette. I'm just gonna apply that all over the top of my eyes. And then I'm gonna go in with my Urban Decay Primer Potion. For this look, I'm gonna definitely be using a primer because I want that smoky look to pop. I have hooded eyes, so I'm gonna do a cut crease and I'm just gonna pretend like I have bigger eyelids. I'm going in with my MAC Mystery. It's just a brown eyeshadow. And then I'm gonna go in with a black eyeliner and I'm just using my Carez eyeliner pencil and I'm just gonna use this as a base. I'm gonna just go ahead and kind of fill it in. And then I'm just gonna go with my hand and just like blend it out. Going back in with the MAC Mystery and using a blender brush. And I'm just gonna put that like right on top where I put that fake cut. And then I'm gonna go in with my black L'Oreal eyeshadow and then just dab it. I don't know, for whatever reason, I feel like in the music video, at some parts, it looks like she has like a bluish eyeshadow. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab a blue and this is called Deep Truth. This is from MAC. So I'm just gonna like slowly dab that right in the middle. Not enough for it to really show through, but only show through when there's like a glimpse of light. Now I'm gonna go in with my Naked palette and I'm gonna be using the color Naked. So I'm just gonna apply that right onto like the top of my eye, like right where I blended out that brown. And then I'm gonna go back in with the black eyeshadow from L'Oreal and I'm gonna actually deepen the crease a little bit. I'm gonna put a little bit more eyeshadow so that there's eyeshadow on this part. I'm just gonna get the color gunmetal and then apply that because I don't want it to be like completely black like all over my eyelids. I want it to have like a little bit of transition color. And for the eyeliner, I couldn't really like see really well because she like moves around a lot in the video, but it looked like she has like just like a really thin straight eyeliner as opposed to like a cat winged eye. Winged cat eye, there we go. Winged cat eye. I'm gonna be using my Innisfree Power Proof Brush Liner and then I'm gonna just create a super thin eyeliner. And then I'm going to curl my eyelashes because we're gonna be putting on falsies. And I'm just gonna apply some mascara onto the eyelashes. And for her eyelashes, it honestly looks like she just has eyelash extensions and I can't afford that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use my Salon Perfect eyelashes. These are the Demi Wispy ones. And I'm just gonna go ahead and just like clean up everything and just apply more eyeshadow where I feel like it needs and blend it out. And then I'm going in with my Urban Decay 24 seven version eyeliner and I'm gonna tight line my eye. Apply that to the top. Ow, ow, I need to sharpen this. For the bottom waterline, I'm gonna go in with my Scandal Eyes from Rimmel. This is in the color Nude. I love this so much. So if you guys don't have it, it's so good, so cheap. And I'm just gonna apply that to the bottom of my eyes. I don't know if she has white, but I can't pull off white on my waterline because it just makes me look like a, just completely crazy. And then underneath that waterline, I'm gonna go in with the same black eyeshadow and the same pencil, not pencil, same brush that I used to do like the cut crease. And then I'm going to just smudge it right underneath. Moving on to eyebrows, I'm gonna be using my NYX Eyebrow Cake Powder. We're trying to get my eyebrows like as straight as possible. Eyebrows are just so arched, just like in general. I can't get it to go straight. So this is as good as it's gonna get. I'm gonna grab a cotton swab and just kind of wipe down the bottom to make sure the eyeshadow fallouts, if there were any, that it is completely off. Selena is much tanner and glowier than I am, so I'm gonna go ahead and just use my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. 
So I'm using my stipple brush from e.l.f., which I seriously swear by. And then I'm just gonna apply that all over the face. You guys, I have a pimple literally on my lip and it hurts. I definitely wanna bronze my face because like I said, she is a lot tanner than I am. And so I'm using the NYC bronzing face powder and I'm just gonna apply that where the sun would basically like hit. So I'm gonna put on the temples of my for my favorite part, I'm gonna contour my face and I'm gonna be using the Shade and Light palette from Kat Von D. And her face is a lot more slimmer than mine. I have more of like a not slim, like I have like the double chin and she doesn't because she's Selena Gomez. And so I'm gonna go ahead and just really try to contour my jawline. And it looks a lot more slimmed down already. And then I'm going to really contour my cheekbones because her cheekbones are just out there in this video. It's gonna look like I have a lot of makeup on, which I do. Her highlight in this video is freaking amazing. So I'm gonna really, really highlight my face and I'm just using the Benefit What's Up. And I'm gonna apply a lot, actually. And then I'm just gonna use my trusty hand and just kind of blend it all through. I like the bridge of my nose. And can you guys just see that glow? Oh, I love highlights. Her nose is much higher than mine. I always contour my nose because I have a really flat nose. And then for my lips, I'm just gonna go in with my Wet n Wild Willow and just outline it. It's a very like brownish nude. Um, her main focus in the video, obviously her eyes. And I'm gonna use the color Daringly Nude on top of the lip liner. And yeah. And then we're gonna move on to the hair. She has a black wig on with bangs, so I'm just gonna fake a bang. And you know what? I used to have bangs in like high school, like all throughout high school and all throughout college. I'll post a picture up right here. Um, yeah, I will never do bangs again. I don't know why I thought bangs were cute on me, because it's not. But for the sake of this video, I'm gonna recreate some bangs. I'm gonna just grab a chunk of my hair up top. What you're gonna do is make sure that this top part here is straight, because that's actually gonna show. And then you have that, and I'm just gonna tie back the rest of my hair for now. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna just grab it, make sure this is super flat. And then you're gonna hold it right where you want your bangs to be. So I want mine to be like right here. And then all you're gonna do is just twist it. And it's actually a really great way if you wanna ever fake bangs or if you want fake bangs. And then once you have the hair that you like, don't worry about like it looking too perfect because you're gonna actually just go over it later and just fix it and you're just gonna clip it back like that. And then you're gonna look so good. You're just gonna tug it to get it to however far you want it out. And so she has like straight bangs but I'm not gonna do that because I can't. And so I'm just gonna play around with it and then tuck that part out, release the actual part of your hair, and then you will have some fake bangs. I really hate myself with bangs, so I'm gonna take this off, but if you do like it, you can definitely keep it. But I just wanted to show you guys how to create fake bangs if you wanted to. I'm just gonna do a middle part, actually semi middle part and make sure that the hair is completely straight. Her hair was so straight you could cut something with it. I kind of wanted to recreate her clothes too but then I, you know like she wasn't really wearing a lot of clothes and she was wearing like her beige big white collared shirt and I don't got a bay so I just have my white collared shirt. And yeah that is the final look for the hands to myself music video. I really really like the way that she wore her smoky eye and not that I'm going anywhere, but you know, I'm liking this smoky eye. And for last video's giveaway, I will write the winner right here. I'm actually recording this a lot earlier and I will go ahead and direct message you, so make sure to keep an eye out for that. And then for this video, I have another giveaway. Like I mentioned, I've been wanting to do a lot of giveaways. And so for this giveaway, I'm going to be giving away. How many times can I say giveaway? I think I've said giveaway like seven times already. Since this was a dramatic eye look and I used a lot of different eyeshadows, especially my naked palette, I thought it was just right for me to get you guys 
the Naked palette. This is the Naked 3 palette. I have the Naked 1 palette. I don't even own this. Like, seriously, it's taking me so much, like, not keep it for myself. For this giveaway, all you guys need to do is be a subscriber to this channel. Give this video a thumbs up. I feel like I say it so many times in my videos, but I'm so, so thankful for you guys. So, of course, this is my way of giving back to you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this talk through makeup tutorial because I usually do voiceovers, but I just decided I'm just going to talk through it. And if you guys like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up or let me know down below so I do more videos like this. And I think that's about it. So, I love you guys, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye! My holiday sweater, and it is of this sweater right here. Look how cute it is. Move my hair. It says hashtag Elfie. Uh, look at that highlighter though. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yay. I think that's it.